Hello. It is time. For moon. It is time for moon. Moon. Creepy song. Creepy song moon. Cut you! What did we catch right away? We got a bird. A bird? That was a bit some gold lighting. So it's good to hear that Mifa will be tonight's guest on Disco Only. <laughs> she didn't die. She's just going around and joining podcasts. Oh. Oh. That's, that's where what, she is. That's what happened. I see. Elvis isn't dead. He's at the gas station buying a ding dong. He went back to his home planet. <laughs> we get eight months from Tashi B, 15 months from Karma Strikes, 44 months from Corn Silver. Here's a catch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was a bit from Slick Duke with the 8 bit D catch. I continue to be very amused. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Chelsea says, I heard Elvis lives on the moon. Probably. Well, maybe we'll find him and send him back there. I bet he's bored. <laughs> he doesn't have anything to play with but a flag. What's There's a whole one? lunar lander there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's very good. That's very, very good. That was bits from Seemingly Jess with the scaredy cat catch. I like that one. 17 months from Hawkeye Leet. 36 months from Alice Forsyth. Congrats on the three. Oh, I'm sad that I'm being abducted. <laughs> that was a get, uh, that was a bit from Looney Gazer with the proton sad catch. It's very fun. Uh, five months from Rob Wood two four one. That's a spicy fella. That is. Who that is? I don't I know no which idea. one that is. Embor? Embor. That was Ember? Em Embor. The, the joke is Ember. Yeah, Embor. But it's a boar. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the joke. Yes. Ember and boar. Embor. That's 1,500 bits from Siraj Gandesha with the Embor catch. Is the is Embor big one? the final evolution of um tepig okay tepig i know that one kind of yeah you should know that one is that one in unite i think so like you have to like go beat up the <laughs> pigs to do something or other oh, i miss playing unite i don't <laughs> a small part of me does but a large part of me does not i mean i'm not going to start playing it but yeah, part of me does miss but it yes it, there's it's fun to do Group, group, competitive game. Yeah. We had 65 months of tier two gold toes from Kaylin Lux. Uh, 31 months from Omega Kayla. Rabbit four gifted to sub two Toad Ma one. Three to bits from Tricky Anthea. It says as always, I need good vibes. My insurance stuff is fixed, but now I am dealing with tax ah. return stuff when I need it to pay off things. Can I please have a break? Good vibes. Good vibes. It sounds like you've just had a lot lately, and I hate that. Mm hmm I hope you can get a break. We also have uh, 11 months from Darktrium7. Thank you. Who is this Pokemon? That's Dan's. Taco Man, Taco Dan. That was 1962 from Tiger Tiger. Who's that Pokemon? It's a taco. <laughs> a sentient taco. Sentient. Oh, do a little stretch. Oh, I'm excited to do uh, physical therapy today. Because, mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm still a little like, still a little sore from Sunday. I've done physical therapy since then, yes. right? But like, it takes a little bit to start getting back to. Starting getting back to normal. Oh, I'm good. How are y'all doing today? How's your afternoon going? I know some of you are at breakfast stream. I'm curious how your afternoon is working out. 
Oh, that one. That's, uh, that. I know that one. Don't, I'm not going to read chat. I know it. Give me a second. Absol. Yeah. Is that Tech Absol? Absol. Oh. Did the well, catch for Absol. Well, yes. Yes. Yes, but I also know it. It took me a second. I, I, that, w that one is in Unite. I learned, I learned a fair bit of Pokemon stuff when I played Unite. Mm -hmm. Cause I had to like learn new Pokemon. Yeah, I've got, I've got the Pokemon today. Look at this little guy. I, Moon is a day that I can wear green shirts. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning, I have to think, is this a green screen day? No. Nope. Okay. I get to wear green. Cause like. I can't wear green on Wednesdays and Fridays mm -hmm. because it's green screen days. But if it's not a green screen day, then I'm good. Sometimes Tuesday has been green screen day, but Moon we're not using the green screen with. So anyway, that was thirteen fifty nine from Tech Absol with the Absol catch. I know Pokemon. You can if you're not a coward. You can if you if you just want to be a floating head. If you if you want to be a floating head, you could do it. But I don't. I don't want to be a, a floating head personally. Um, so we are playing Moon again today. Mm -hmm. Mal told me that she thinks we're about halfway. Well, if you look at my checklist here, Stephen, we have checks all the way down here on this side. Yes. And then on this side, we have checks about half. And this is the game. Both of those come together as the yeah. whole. Okay. It's more than half. Because we have like the people who live on the world, and then we have the um the creatures. Yeah. When we find their bodies. So we're more than half. Yeah. It's just a matter of if the amount of time. And like on my book check, not my book checklist, like my write up stuff, yes. we're gonna get to half of that today for sure, and pass that. But like some of the okay. last pages is just like notes and stuff about stuff. Yes. So basically, we're halfway through the game. Yeah. Ish. And if we weren't already, then after today's stream, we will, be we will sure. definitely be mm -hmm. halfway through the game. Cool. I don't know if the second half takes longer than the first half. Um, I don't think so. Are there any factory situations? Like from Tulip where we had to just try something over and over and over again and RNG was not kind. I mean, there's a place that I would say is similar to the factory in Tulip, but I feel like it's um, less difficult. Okay. Yeah, wasn't that fish? Well, you, Mal said there's more fishing to do. Oh, yeah. We, oh, we determined that there's like a fishing tournament or something. Yeah, there's a fishing tournament. fine it's fine and i'm fine and it's fine and it'll be fine we got 26 months from Coralon 22 thank you uh we got two arts in the queue let's take a look at those Aww. oh that's very cute a very cool scene in the game too mm -hmm. very different than everything else in the game i kind of wonder if uh you know i mean i guess that idea is not unique mm -hmm. to moon <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Amazing. Amazing. I was going to say, you know, that that concept is revisited in Mother 3. Yep. But I, there's probably other... There's probably other media that uses the concept of like birds, birds carrying a bird cage, a bird cage uh -huh. right? Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's great. I love that. <sighs> I've enjoyed Moon. I mean, I know we still have some. We have a few weeks of it left, mm -hmm. but you know, it won't it won't be around forever. And then I'm gonna have to wait on them to localize the other games. They just sent out a survey, Onion Games did, on their newsletter that was like, hey, how you feel about some things? And then it had a space for comments, and I was like, maybe localize um, UFO and LOL like you did for Moon? That'd be cool, thanks. I mean... Yeah, after Stray Children comes out, maybe. 
It is, I mean, that is something good, right? To know that there is another game coming. Yeah. Like, they, they, they are working on Stray Children, and they have already committed to localizing that, right? Yes, so like, or I, I'm pretty sure they have. So, there was questions about if it came out, what language do you want it in, and what system do you want it in? What yeah. would you buy it on? Yeah, so... <coughs> Excuse Let's me. See. Do I have to sneeze twice? Nope. I would be down to play Rule of Rose at some point. I think that that would be fun. At least, if nothing else, that just to like try it, right? Just to like yeah. start it up and play a little bit of it. I don't know how long it is. I don't know any. I really don't know much about it. I know the basis of the plot, but I don't know where it goes and what and how it plays. I mean, the reason that we're doing Moon is that Mao had a chance to play Moon. Mm hmm. Like ahead of time and and make a guide and everything. Um, so one thing you could do is in your spare time, if you want to play Rule of Rose, if you want to try it, maybe you could just do that and see, you know, how you feel about it. Yeah. So give it a shot. Okay. Uh, let's um, let's play a video game. Okay. Let me move some windows around here. To make it easier to play said video game. And then we'll see what kind of absolute nonsense uh, we're getting into today. Let's pause alerts. Go to game. And here. Can you play that game on stream though? Rule of Rose? Yes. Rule of Rose is fine to play. Like it's it's an M-rated game, but it's it it's just like violent. It's not the the amount of games that you can't play on Twitch is actually extremely small. It's it's basically the only games that you can't play on Twitch at this point are basically like adult-oriented games, like sexual games. Um, the only like because it used to be a long time ago that there were some violent games you couldn't even play. Like they wouldn't let you play um, Postal. Like you couldn't play Postal 2. And then at some point they were like, eh. <laughs> They're like, now nah, you can play it. <laughs> so the list is actually really small. Uh, da, 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 da. And uh, they even the, the rules on like um, nudity and everything for Twitch are basically like, as long as it's not, as long as it's just like part of the narrative, it's part of the plot, even that's not a big deal. It's like, as long as you're not lingering on it you know you're not playing like a putting mods on to make it that way i mean that is not okay uh -huh. but as long as you're not like as long as it's just part of a story then it's then it's fine so continue are you ready yeah are you ready yeah hold on i'm not okay now i'm ready love's answer i'm love's answer what's the question Uh, I gotta think about that one. All right, so uh, what what am I what was I doing? Uh, we had been betting on the birds. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. So I just have to go back and do more bird betting because yeah, I have is, to finish those birds. There is one more creature that you need to get in the Valley of the Winds, the mole that's digging around. Straight right, straight right. Okay, yeah, I don't have a warp down there. No, you don't, because okay. it's like right here. But um, it's night now, so you can't do that for the mole. I just need to go get into the bird position. Yeah. Okay. I'll go get into bird position and I finish mean, there's, up birds. You could go one more screen over. Oh, you can grab that. There's one more screen over where you could get some. Um. Are they? Okay. They're always two, so. You could do that until morning. It, but it's not here? No, it's, let's keep going right. Oh, it's further, further right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can't do that until till day. Yeah, so you have half the night left. Okay, so yeah, I'll go do, like, something. Oh. This is... Cherby. When it sees someone sitting, it can't help wanting the person to be sitting on it. 
can't relax until the person stands in front of it in an about-to-sit pose. This is the chair from Rocco's Modern Life. Hey, sit on me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, sit on me. Hey, sit on me. Sit on me. Uh, okay. So the person stands in front of it in an about-to-sit pose. So if I just stand in front of it... Oh, shoot. How am I going to get that guy? Whoa! What the... <laughs> that was a different one. Jerkwad. Who are you? That's Coma. I didn't even get to check that body. All right, well, I got him. Call my chan. Beep, 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 beep. Sure. All right, I need to chill. I guess I need to wait longer. Oh my god. There you go. Good job. I had to wait for him to become a chair. Mm-hmm. Rescuing chair beep. Beep, 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 beep. This is Sunbeam Road. The, the path this, I'm on? Yeah, this little area. So this is the guy running around. Who are you? You are Mr. Naki. Sometimes feels like it. Sometimes doesn't. Lives his life blowing in the wind. So, like, he just runs by. Yeah, he a quick boy. Yeah, I saw that. There you go. Good job. Fortunately, he makes a sound. We. <laughs> and it's day. That was perfect. You can grab that money later if you want. Sure. Because you will be going that way. Mr. Naki. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let's go. Let's do some bird bedding. Um... You know, my favorite thing in the entire game. <clears throat> so we did black already. Yeah. I think yellow. Place a bet. How much? It's 50. Bet on which bird? I'm gonna do red. Please sit. Redbird, 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 Redbird. Can there be no bird? There's a bird. It's blue. Too bad. Yellow. Red, <clears throat> I'm going down the list. That's what I'm going to do. Because statistically, blue is most likely. So when I get down to blue, then I'll get it quicker. So it gets, it'll get easier each time. That's my philosophy. Hmm. I would like it to get easier. There you go. Hell yeah. Boom. You win. Red. Brings love and impulse. The king dons red robes. He seems so carefree. That's his name. Yet inside, passion. He overflows with love. Take this 250 yen. All right, yellow time. 
Place a bet. Please sit. And then once I get blue, I have to go over to the body of the blue yeah. bird and I can grab him too? Yeah. Okay. Two reds in a row. Wow. I bet next is going to be blue. I mean, we can also just get black again. We can. It's not impossible. Yellow. Oh, come on. Come on. <clears throat> come on. Gotta get all the birds. We're halfway through the birds. We have the harder birds. There's yellow. You love to see it. You win. Yellow. Brings art and opportunity. The color of Darlia's hair. Every bird he references a character. That idiosyncratic girl. You haven't met Darlia yet. She'll be an artist. Like her father. Take this 150 yen. Blue time. All right. This should be the easiest one to get. Which means it'll take 10 tries to get to blue. Please sit. Statistically, we should get blue because that's the highest probability. Doopa 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 Red. We can? Dang. Remember, when it's nightfall, you need to go get uh, Molio. Yes. Do I have to be like standing on a thing? Before nightfall, yes. Before nightfall? Yeah. So, I probably only have time for like one more bet. Yeah. And then I gotta go into mole time. Another red. What's that, four reds? Yeah, that's a lot of reds. Okay. Screw you too. You're going uh, the most southwest you can be on this map. Okay. So, oh, this is the one we have to like cage him or something, right? Well, you have to be inside that down. Oh, down further. You have to be in that area because those two block this entrance. So I just be so in here? inside this area. He pops up now. He pops up like. Do you see where it does this on the top right? Yeah. That's where he's gonna pop up. Like yeah, there. Okay. And you have like two or three opportunities through the night, so if you miss them the first time, you do have another. Okay. But you can, you'll can you see kind of like his little lump move under the sand, so you know he's close by. Yeah, so okay, no. maybe a little bit left more, yeah. Nope, not that far. Right, a little bit right there. So now I'm trapped in here. Yes. Until morning. On the there he is, ready? Yeah. Good oh. job, first try. I mean, you gave good directions about, about where to stand. <clears throat> Rescuing Molio. Beep, 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 beep. So now you have to wait till morning. Yep, sure do. I got the love. Um... Just gonna stop the stopwatch. I think I'm gonna go get a drink. Go ahead. I if have you're time. for some reason long, I'll just hit the home button. Sure, I, it won't take me that long. I know. This, this takes like two, two full United States minutes. I have water. 
How was Maelstrom the other day? It was good. I painted. Lots of leaves. I'm gonna work into lighter leaves later, next week, and, um... We'll see. The background sound reminds me of Gygas Radio, Dread says. Me too! And I don't particularly like it. Am I sick of leaves yet? Well, every new color, there's less leaves. Starting to think I might need to hit the home button. What am I painting? I'm painting a um, autumn night scene with the moon. It's a photo Brandon took. If you look on Twitter, it's from last week. The photo I posted on Twitter. Quick. Did I really take too long? Yeah, the cactus has just went down. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm back. Alright, All right, ready? Yes. So now I can leave. Yeah, grab the money. North, yeah. Cool. All then right. you just have one more bird to get. Oh, it's bird time once again. Black, oh, red, sh yellow. Sh sh stop. <laughs> and my friends. You don't want to hear my song about mm, birds? No. I'm wildly offended. I don't know if I'll be able to forgive you for this. All right, here we go again. Blue. Watch, today's gonna be a yellow bird day. Nothing but yellow all day. Red. <laughs> That was fast, too. A lot of times it takes a while for them to come by. It's kind of nice if it happens fast because it gives me more time to place more bets. Gotten every color but blue. I mean, yes. That is why I'm still betting. <laughs> blue. I saw a bluebird yesterday. Yeah. It was on the bike trail. And then it flew away, and I saw the bright flash of blue. It was nice. It's pretty. I haven't seen a bluebird, but I saw. A red bird, a red bird, a black bird, a there red go, bird, a yellow there bird. There it is, there it is. Why is it so slow? Oh, oh! That's not what I was expecting to happen. The first bird I saw was pale blue, yes. Cerulean. Brings reason and logic. Take this 100 yen. Boy. You guessed all the bird colors. 
most impressive. Never seen that before. He's a bird. He's a bird. You have an eye for birds. For that, I give you love. My regards to Yoshida. Who is a bird? The first time you guess blue correctly, it's that that comes through the sky. Yeah. Rescuing bird on. Beep, 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 beep. Holy crap. So, continue heading east. east. Whew, at least the... Oh, there's a red bird. At least birds are, um, done. Because that's a whole thing. Well, birds are done assuming that I don't die and I save the game at some point and don't have to redo things. North. Welcome to Wildcat House. What? Wildcat House looks closed. You can go in. You got Tao's favorite. Trash. I'm just looking around. Ah, welcome. Will you be dining in? Yeah. Let me show you to a table. You mean the table? Hello. Oh, chew. Good thing the shop was open. So, what'll it be? Oh, I I'm gonna have, um... You can have sand cactus. Sand cactus. What? Chew, you must be brave to order that. Just a moment, please. Order up. Sand cactus salad for one. Okay. So serious. Here to go. Is he a cat? He is definitely a cat. Yeah, he's... All right, here you go. You'll be singing a ballad about this salad. This salad uses sand cactus. How do you like it? Doesn't the cactus have a sort of mushroomy texture? Oh, mushroomy reminded me. This will interest you. Feel free to keep eating while listening. A little while back, yes, the morning after a cold rain showery night, in search of extraordinary ingredients, I went to the mushroom forest. It was a little more humid than usual, quite unsavory weather. You are playing as oh, him. Oh, I, oh. Not what I expected. Yeah. I trekked deeper and deeper into the forest. I did the wrong way. You did. His apron pocket is a cat too. Avoiding hallucinogenic spores as I went. However, I couldn't find any mushrooms. Just when I was about to give up and go home, a shockingly glittery golden mushroom trudged toward me. It was walking. I delicately took the mushroom in hand and made for the exit. Do you remember seeing him? Vaguely. Then I saw Florence poking at some mushroom soup. Florence is a, a rough fella who loves mushrooms. And he said to me, Yo, Kenji, you looking for ingredients again? Yes. Find anything good? I found this. 
Wow! Well, I never. It's the golden mushroom. Please, I beg you, let me have this mushroom. Ah, uh, all right. Here you are. Yeah! My anticipation positively tingles. Florence disappeared before my very eyes. To where? I have no idea. It's been a long time. Hmm? Hmm? V Florence! Wherever have you been? I've been looking for you ever since you disappeared that day in the forest. I'd like to know myself! That trip? Whew, felt like a long, journeyous dream. You were just talking about me, weren't you? I walked toward the rumorous whispers, and here I am. By the way, who are you? And you over there. You're Kenji's wife, yeah? Huh? Are you senile? My name is Cliss. I'm just working here until I make my idol debut. And the person eating salad is Chu, a customer. Got it? <laughs> Such a verby lass. Well, Kenji, I'm off. Back to the mushroom forest for me. Maybe I'll have another nice trip. See you around! Dang. It's always a bunch of weirdos. Why can't any talent scouts ever eat here? Are you finished eating yet, Chu? It's quitting time. It takes a long time to eat a salad. It sure does. Kenji says we can only serve one customer per day. So we're going to close now. <laughs> this business model is great. <laughs> welcome, welcome. What our humble restaurant lacks in decor, we make up doubly in flavor. You are done here. I, at the Wildcat house for now. Incredible. So do you remember talking to Wanda and she was talking about Florence? A little. So, um... You have two people to talk to back in Castletown. Wanda is one of them. Yoshida is the other. Yeah. Otherwise, we are moving on to Tropical Fields. So, but I need to take care of those things before we do that. You should. Okay. You have two things now you can go do back there, so you might as well. Okay. And then I'll stay the night at Grandma's house. Or your own, because you can head back towards your, your own house. I guess I'll have enough time for all that. Yeah, because you have a full... If you hit uh, status... I have a day and a half left. At least. At least. Yeah. I have so much time that I can be awake. Yeah, and alive. but if you go into the menu and look at status, you can see exactly. Yeah, you have uh, a lot of time left. You have three days. Jeez. So you could go do all the stuff at Castletown and then go sleep. Let this just be a you know a lesson that if you are filled with love, you don't have to sleep. You don't have to sleep. Mm -hmm. Who needs sleep when you love? All right, I can still take a shortcut over there. Yes. Well, hello again. Do you want me to eat you up? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Rainbow Rocks. Rainbow Rocks. Mmm, don't you look delicious. <laughs> so you should go see Yoshida at home first before Yoshida goes to bed for the night. Because Wanda's up all night. Okay. I will go see Yoshida. And Wanda's the one who runs the bar, right? Yes. Okay. I can remember some things, some of the time. It's been too long, Chu. Did you get the drink out of your system? And hey, how you been? Me? Ah, well, you know me. I'm taking a break from the business, just trying to take it easy. Actually, I'm thinking of going back to school. I'm, t I'm talking about college. Hey, you should come study with me. It's never too early for college. Yeah. Hey, when I'm about to go to a class, I'll give you a holler. I'll come over your house. 
I love that part of the plot, f just five minutes apart, is someone tripping on mushrooms and then a bird taking me to college. Like, that's, that's Moon. Who's in here? Bilby. Bilby? Yeah. I'm Bilby. I'm a guard at the castle. I enjoy making toy airplanes. And yep, I'm divorced. Yep. I wonder. How about a drink? Hit me. Right, uh, what do you drink? Orange juice. You take it easy too, honey. Remember, you can get drunk without letting the drink drink you. If you drink too much, you'll wind up like Baker. That guy, he gets so drunken that he forgets to lock up his house. I waste a lot of time worrying about him. Thanks. What do we need to talk to Wanda about? You need to tell her Florence is back. Okay. Does the drink change anything? Uh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. You want to hear something good? Is it true Florence came back? Yes. Really? So the rumors were true. In that case, can you help me with something? This here, uh... Can you give it back? Even without this ring, I still have an adorable memento of that man. You got it? Thanks. You got the pearl back. Okay. So I'm supposed to give that to Florence. Yep. Can I find him in the mushroom forest? Yes. Alright, well then I'm going to go to the mushroom forest. I gotta walk back, but I'll get there in time. So was Wanda married to Florence? Earlier she talks about like how he gave her the ring and lost it and then you have to go find it and give it to her. Okay, so he like proposed to Wanda, maybe? I don't remember exactly what she had said specifically. Okay. Let's, well, and you are welcome to sleep at your house on the way through, just so you have saved. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why. There's not really any reason not to. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Mm -hmm. But it is a, you know, it's a walk. Yeah. It's a little bit of a walk back. <laughs> Nerdy Revelries points out the adorable memento is Flora. You went what? too far up. So, the girl that lives upstairs. Oh, so yeah, they had a kid. If Flora is the if Flora is the memento, mm -hmm. then Flora is Wanda's daughter, which means Florence or uh, Flora is Florence's daughter. Daughter. Yeah. Yeah, and Flora is like a. Like a portmanteau of Florence Wanda. and Wanda. Right? So, mm -hmm. yes. Wanda and Florence. I don't know if they were married, but... There was a ring involved. There's a ring, so probably. They were probably married. And that's why Wanda... Wanda yeah, that's why Flora is their child. Okay. Got it. Keeping track of, like, the actual connections in this game is hard when there's insane things happening. Let's see what love you've gathered today, Chu. The man in Twilight Canyon was actually... That is love. This is love. And the love from the souls of the animals. Mr. Naki. Birdon. Cherby. Komachan. Molio. Congratulations. Chu, your love has deepened further. Chu, you have reached level level 26. Love, superstar. For your next level, you'll need three more love. Love still dots this world. Please, seek out the scattered love. Collect a lot of it, please. Wink. I did it. I took a nap. Echo day. Echo day, and also, we're going to take a break day. <laughs> okay. That's a good stopping point for right now. Hi. 
hurt. <sighs> oh, I'm too tall and stretchy. Oh. I was just checking off the things I hadn't checked off yet. So Wanda and Florence had a daughter, mm -hmm. and that's Flora. Got it. Jepson says, you gaming? We are gaming. Hi, Josh. Jepson, this game is wild. We just watched a chef who runs a restaurant that serves only one person a day walk into a mushroom forest and find a mushroom, but then he finds this person who really, who, who is who is tripping on mushrooms and is like, ah, but that's a good trip. Let me have that one. So then the chef gives him that mushroom and he trips so hard that he disappears from this mortal plane. For a while. For a while. And then he hears people talking about him, so he comes back. And then he's like, that was a great trip. <laughs> and I'm the going the cat. He owns a cat cafe. Yeah, the, yeah. Where he's the cat. So then he goes back into the mushroom forest. Moon is a wild video game. There's a lot happening. Like, at all times, there is a lot happening. Although I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Because you just, like, every time we play, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to see next. I didn't understand a single thing you just said. Perfect. We had to guess the color of birds for two streams straight, just about. You had to bet on it. There's, like, this Clint Eastwood character that sits on the edge of a cliff. Cliff. And you have to guess bird colors, and once you guess all of them correctly, he reveals that he is a bird. <laughs> uh. It's Keppo! We did meet God. That was a few weeks ago. Yeah, we did meet God a few weeks ago. Well, we met God. Well, we met a guy who thought he knew who God was. And then when the- He went to become part of the cosmos after. And then the person that he thought God was left, and he's like, well, if there's no God, I'll be God. And then he decides he's God. It's, yeah. <laughs> you wanna? Let's gonna. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 I, yeah. I don't know that I can recommend people play Moon. I mean, I guess it's better than True Loop in terms of like the amount of patience it takes. Yeah. You have to have a guide. There's I I don't believe that you could figure out how You to have get... to spend a lot of time talking to people and figuring out and showing people cards and going around discovering things. Yeah. Taking things back and forth and I mean, if people like that. Yeah. Then you, yeah, I guess you could get through it that way. It's just Josh is what year? Ninety seven. It's a PS one game. Yeah. The interesting thing is that this game is not. I mean, it is it's obtuse, but like it's not as frustrating as Tulip. And yeah. Tulip came out after Tulip was two thousand two. And there's parts of Tulip that are are still way more frustrating than this. Come here. So. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hi, friend. Do you want a little kibble? You know he does. What if you had a little kibble? You want scoop? Cap. You want scoop? You want scoop? You want scoop? You want scoop? Yeah? You want scoop? You hungry? He's like, this doesn't get me any closer to Scoop. Being up here does not get me. He's like, this is the way. This is This is where Scoop is. is where Scoop he is. will lead you to Scoop. You will. Hey, bud. There you go. Alright. 
Let me lead you to the scoop. We had nine months from Stefania615, and 31 months from JT Slasher. Thank you. Oof. Can't believe my idiot humans forgot where Scoop was again. Oh, bird. Hey, bird. Thousand Bitch from JT Slasher says, After three official LSATs, a hundred practice ones, and a full school semester, I finally ended up with a score of 168, top 7% of all test takers. I now returned the good vibes I got in September, though it took longer than it than hoped. Good top vibes. Top 7% is That's pretty good. That's very good. Yeah. That's very, very good. Congratulations. Excellent. How's it feel? <laughs> Like, I know it feels good. I screamed when I found out and called my mom. That's a that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah, that's awesome, though. Especially, like, if, if you've worked really hard to prepare. Yeah. And then you, you put in the work, and then you get the outcome. You're like, oh, well, good. Mm -hmm. So, that is awesome. Congratulations. Mmm. JT Slasher says, I don't normally test well, so I did a lot to get better. It paid off. I'm, I'm someone who also does not test super well. But also in adulthood, now more than ever, when, I'm, when I have a test, I'm just angry. I'm just like, I don't want to do this. What are these road signs? Like, man... I know what the signs mean. I'm sorry if I don't know the name of the sign. I know what the sign means. Divided highway. I mean, I've been driving, and I have seen people that should not be driving. Yeah. And it's very frustrating. I'm like, listen, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. If these, That's why if they these let you have your license. Be, if these people could be on the road... It doesn't matter if I don't know the official name of the sign. <laughs> it's fine. I know what the sign means. I did pass my last blood test. That is, that's a test I can do. I can do a blood test. That's totally fine. <laughs> Magma Fish says, yes, but the DMV cannot tell between you and them. You have to show them that you are not them. Kitty. I wish I could. I would like. Okay, I don't actually wish this because it would be awful. But if if there was, if you could just have a driving test, and then I'd be like, look, listen, I can drive. If we had better public transit, I wouldn't bother to drive. Well, I'm sure a lot of people yeah. in the U.S. feel that way. Yep. Absolutely. A lot of people absolutely feel that way. Anyway, too bad. I mean, depending on the city that you're in, you may have some good city transit. But most of these don't. We don't. <laughs> most of these don't. And then also, if you're trying to get from, like, you know, city to city or state to state, like, then it gets real difficult real fast. So. <laughs> Chelsea says, if you want another driving test, move to the UK. It's fun. <sighs> it's not. I hate this. I think it would be fun to drive in the UK at some point, like while I like a, while I was visiting, just because I want to see if my brain can do it. Can do it because it, it, yeah, um, there would definitely be more than one time I would uh, put everyone at risk. Anyway, it'd be fun to try. That was 1600 bits for man. It was said this morning, but I shall say it again. Today, my roommate completed her 16th and final chemo treatment with near-complete eradication of her breast carcinoma. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we uh, we talked about that on breakfast stream, but like, just so more people get to hear it. I love that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Man, there's some... There's some good things. There's some seriously good things. There was uh, multiple good things talked about on breakfast stream. There's multiple good things talked about on this stream. I love that. I, I love that there's some good things happening to folks. It's 
great. Good vibes to everyone. I'm glad that there's there's some good happening. We also got uh, 50 months from Twitchy Toes. Thank you. All right. Shall we game? We shall. Let's game. It's time for game. I love game. <clears throat> Let's gonna. I've been thinking about the chicken shawarma I had on Sunday night for a while now. Yeah. I'm sad. I want more of it. I'm sorry. You can always go back. I know I can. To get, you can get it. It's a, it's a place. Yeah, it is a place. All right. Okay, so... You were going to find Florence in the Mushroom Forest. I'm on my way to Florence. I'm off to see the Florence. The Florence is probably getting high. He's up in the forest. Uh, he's on the other side. No. No? No. So I shouldn't warp? I wouldn't. He's going to be near the beginning. Yeah. Okay, because if he's not, this will have taken a lot of extra time. You want to do f some fishing for fun while you're there? No. There's no. nothing fun about fishing. So, like, no, definitely not. This is a long walk. Like, this has already been a long walk. Because I would have been in the mushroom forest already, heading backwards. But I'm I'm trusting you when you say that Florence is near the front of this cave. Up, upright. Oh. See him? Kukune, Kukune. Oh, hey, bud. This illusory mushroom forest is a multi-space which connects all dimensions. You need to give him the ring. Does he say new things? The Kakunte people sustain themselves on the mushroom's nutritious spores. Did you know that? You could just give him the ring. I know, but I was just curious what he says. But also, yeah, if he's going to disappear all the time. The Kakunte aren't even very sad that Tototeru has died. All places are connected here in this dimension transcending six dimensional zone. Okay, I should. Oh, he, d he doesn't really go that far. I knew right away that you had come from another world. Do you really want to return to your world that much? A city where gray rain falls, steel contraptions on roads, a world that won't wash clean? Sit in front of the picture box, play until sleepy. Ah, live free, man. Uh, I can get behind, sit in front of the picture box, play until sleepy. But that's like, that's very good. The three-dimensional world you come from is built from the vitality of space and time. The will to change, the will to resist change in constant conflict. Even in this world, some prefer conflict. I don't know, I'm enjoying talking to Florence. What do you know about love? Because I don't know nothing about it. That's why I asked you. You know, this kind of talking always makes me think of Wanda from the bar. You and me both, man, we wander. Wandering travelers searching for love. <laughs> Where'd you go? My body is dust on the wind, man. That's why I can't stop wandering. I swim helpless between reality and dreams, now and forever. If I told you I lacked lingering attachments to the transient world, I'd be a liar. Top left. Oh, there he goes. Hark! Incline your ears! Here you can hear songs of many worlds. What say? Do you hear them? talk to him this much? No. So this is new for you. Mm -hmm. He's fun. 
Many objects die and are born. Are born and die. Die there, born here. Die here, born there. Here see me flutterer between there where and here where. There where? Above the sky. At the Dragon Palace there was a gorgeous queen. All the stars were twinkling. She even gave me a souvenir to take home. Here, have a look. She told me I had to give this to you. This is how you get a slate. Mm, see, I didn't know that. Star souvenir. Okay. I figured out something you didn't know. Because I like Florence a lot. But I do need to go, still give him the thing. Yes. Watch him disappear. <laughs> No, but really, where, where did he go? I don't know. Hmm. He's probably still in the mushroom forest. What was hmm. that star souvenir? Yes. Yeah, I do need to find him because I do have to give him the thing. He probably went to the star. There he is. <sighs> Walk all the way over there to get you to him. You do. This illusory mushroom forest is okay. It resets all the okay. Yeah, that starts his speech all the way over. So, you, my friend, need this the sunrise pearl. You brought it all the way to me? You needn't reply. I already understand. When I finally understood its true value, it was already too late. Life brims with such stories. Wanda had her life, I had my own. I'll take the ring. Goodbye, my lovely. We can only grow in proportion to the number of our shed tears. Fall seven times, get up eight times, that's life. Ah, Wanda. And then we don't talk about that ever again. Okay. All right. I'm gonna head down. Nope. Down. down. Why down? Because that's the way out. Down. Well, both ways go out. Well, this way's faster. Because you need to leave. You're done here. Um. Uh, okay. Man, I like Florence a lot. So, what do we do with the slate? Um, we're almost to the part where you can translate the ones that are words. Yeah. So that Oh, might... oh, oh, did you see that? What? I wasn't paying attention. I had looked down. What? Florence. Did he fly through? My name is Florence. I've just came back from the star world. Okay. I barely caught his visage as I walked by. So I had to go check, check him out. Florence is great. I'm glad you liked him. Florence is really good. I like Florence and I like um, crazy um, self-declared god man. Addy? Abby? Adder. Adder. Yeah, Adder is also very good. Well, it's time to go to Tropical Fields, which was south. You can just walk. You could teleport, but... You have some stuff to get have here. Have I been here? You have. This is where we saw the fish that we had. Oh, the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember the fish. So there is um, some love you can get here. We love that. There is three. There's this bird. Yeah, you have to go south a little bit. Go right there. Up. Hit select. Or action, sorry. What? Hit action in the trees. There oh, you go. there's a thing. Sorry, you have to deal with this for a second. <laughs> An announcement from the Hager Innovation Institute. The Hager Innovation Institute is accepting applications for members. Rich heart, rich wallet, and richer life. Hager Innovation Institute. One of the ways to get access is to donate a lot of money. Uh, okay. 
But I guess I don't need to do that anymore. No, but you have to do the question mark. That was not that. Oh, that's a different one? Yeah, that was time-based. This is something Oh, there. so it was just coincidence yes. that that happened. There we go. There was a hidden one. Oh. Shadow bird. You can only see this precious bird at noontime. Rotates in circles while waiting for prey. That bird? Now I can catch it. Yes. I am prey. The shadow does a little... There we go. Ready? Shadow bird. Mm-hmm. So many birds. There's a lot of birds. Rescuing shadow bird. Beep, beep, beep. beep. Three hearts for that. That's already enough to level up. All right, so... You have one more in this map, but it's a nighttime one, but it's almost nighttime, so try and find the corpse so you know where it is. Uh, okay. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Tommy, nocturnal animal, subsists on a diet of kirikiri bugs, runs away with a bizarre cry when frightened. Okay. So that one's going to show up to your right once it hits nighttime. Yeah. And you know what's the earthbound thing where you like stab? You... Stutter step? Yeah, that's what you have to do to get to him. He shows up right to the right from there. So. Okay. You too can become a full member. Just put money in the box. Full members enjoy three special privileges. One, purchase new in inventions. Two, exclusive discounts. Three, a visit to our HQ. We eagerly await your generous donation. So you can donate, or... Is the S stand for Scientology? Um, Steinhager is his name. Okay, so I'm gonna hit... Nope. We can get a membership for free. Okay. But there's nothing else down here, and I need to just kind of chill up here. Yeah, just for a few seconds. It's almost nighttime. Okay. And then I'm gonna... Yes. Stutter step to the right. Uh-huh. And then grab it. Yes. Got it. It's nighttime. You can go sort of down that path a little bit. There he is. He shows up there. Now, you can just kind of like walk slow too. I don't know if he'll come back though. You don't know if he'll come back? Yeah. He vanishes if you get too close too quickly, so you may have to, like, leave. Oh, my God. I hear a sound. That might be him. It's probably him. Just, like, slowly walk. Maybe don't stutter step so much. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, stutter step actually is probably the wrong call. You move, and then you wait for him to stop moving. There we go. There you go. Got him. Poked him right in the eyes. Rescuing Tommy. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so... There's one more to get at night. Oh, okay. So you can pick up that money and we'll go grab that to the right. You have bait, right? Yeah. Okay, down. Right. This place is a little bit of a maze. Okie doke. Oh, dear God. What? What the? I was dreaming of the shell whale just now. Seems like it wants help. How can I help it? To the right. I have to fish. You have to fish. Go fishing? Sure. We love to fish. Sorry, I got scared. Do you see it down yes, there? Yes, yes. 
Did you forget how to fish? Yes, briefly. <laughs> I get it this time. That's not creepy at all. Did that not have a corpse I could check? No, I don't think it does. If it does, I don't know where it is. Because it does this really strange thing that it doesn't do for the other one. Rescuing shell whale. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> oh, he's really struggling to get that one. A single tear. Do I have... Oh, what? Is that the only fishing I have to do? What, here? Oh, that's a lot of money. Reward, moon fragment, take please. Remember, moon fragments sell for a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do I have to do any other fishing on this no spot? not the second okay so um on solar day mornings which is not now no but let's wait for him to wake up okay <laughs> i'd love to on solar day mornings he holds a fishing contest and on the fishing contest you have to get five fish in the time limit well, the day doesn't start at night, right? The day starts at morning. so we, it's, it's not going it's, to be solar day. Yeah, it's solar day's past. But there's a different thing to do once it's daytime. Okay, and then we will have to come back in a week? Yeah. The fishing contest is one of the very difficult things to get. I haven't gotten it. There are two love I have not collected. The fishing contest is one. Oh. I've talked to some other people who've played Moon, and I do have a theory based on what they've said. Okay. So when it's almost solar day and we have some, like, downtime in the game, We're I have gonna... thoughts about what to try. Okay. So there might be a trick. Yes. Oh, we're awake. I'm going to go look for some bait. Oh, I've never followed him on Crescent Day. On Crescent Day, he goes to get bait. He's already gone. I don't know where he goes. Oh. Also, the one thing that I thought you have to get here, you get on Solar Day too. so. So, I'm done here. You're done here. So, now we're going to go uh, left. That's where you get bait. Oh, he's getting bait. You can just catch bait here. I'm looking for Kiri Kiri bugs. We use Kiri Kiri bugs for bait around here. Kiri Kiri bugs eat moonlight. The numbers have considerably decreased lately. So you so can you just can... catch your own bait. Yeah, see how he's getting them? Look, you got a bait for free. They're excellent. Huh. Well, that's neat. Okay. All right, go down. Left. Up. So fast, I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. Cave. Cave. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I need something? Yes. I can't sleep. Too tired to open my shop. There's also a corpse right there. I'll check the corpse. This is Dream Alien. It's an alien who eats people's dreams. What's worse is, people with eaten dreams can't sleep. Oh no. How can you help him? Uh, he can't sleep. Mm-hmm. So I have to catch the alien, and then he'll be able to open his shop. What do you have in your inventory? Uh... Oh, chloroform. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> shh, shh. No more talking. It's time no to open. It's time to open the shop. Uh. Hi. 
wow. Man. I just, I don't know, there's not enough games that take advantage of chloroform. Rescuing Dream Alien, beep beep beep. beep. Doctors hate this one trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got some sleep. Did you have a shop? I took a nap. I feel good as heck. I want to buy. Cave guy shop. I'm selling it all. What are you she looking for? one item. Octolips warp you to your house. So you should I mean, always, once you like get the shop, which you can do at any point in the game, you should have one for emergencies, and you should have one for, I don't want to walk back to my house. Yeah, I'm thinking I need a few of yes, these. Yes, you can buy as many as you want. I'm definitely going to grab a bunch of these, because that is one of the annoying bits. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, I want to get back home. This takes you not to Grandma's house, just your house. Wherever you slept la last, I believe. Okay. Which I believe is almost always at this point where we are in the game, your house. I love Thanko. Yeah, just give me a few of them Octo Lips. Also, Octo Lips is the thing that's driving the UFO. That's an Octo Lips. It's the same cre creature. When you look at it. Doesn't it doesn't have the, the hat or whatever, but it looks like a yes. All right, I bought a few of these. All right, you're going west then. Further west? Yeah. All right. Oh, body. This is Gentle Mister, a hard-headed, snobby individual, particular about etiquette. Gets angry at nearby fire starting and noise making. Now, I want you to pause the timer for me. This area is um, Tamaya's launcher. It's a firework launcher. Mm. Now, a couple things about this before you unpause. Okay. That guy doesn't like loud noises and sure. fires. Sure, sure. So you can imagine how his body, or how you catch that. Sure. Um, we did have one of those little messages we've been seeing that said white tube. Remember we keep looking for little tiny messages in places? Our hint for the next one was on the white tube. Oh my god, like a million yes, years ago. Yes, it's been a while yes. it since Because we had, we had one like on a rock and behind a sign. And, yes, yeah, exactly. Okay. The other thing is um, in late afternoon... Right. Late afternoon, there's going to be a firework that launches, and it's going to land somewhere near this tube. And it's going to be random where it lands. And if you're correct, and you're like going to pick it up when it blows up, you'll go into the launcher. And you need to do that at some point in the game to collect the stuff in there, the love in there. And if you miss it, and you picked wrong, then you can get that soul. So we're almost to late afternoon where that happens. So you can check the text, which is on the white tube. Oh, wait, there's a firework now. Oh, that's a dud one from earlier. Okay. Where's the text? The text is... Oh, right here. Yeah, right of A start. note. Flickering, crackling flames. Campfires make meals delicious. Where did you just see a campfire? Yeah, with the fisherman. Correct. With the great pirate behave. Okay. So the next note doesn't show up until we found the previous note? Yes. Okay. So I just need to chill here until some fireworks happen? One possible landing area is right where you're standing. I love that. So it launches up out of the tube and you just saw how big they were. Yeah. And you need to go over to it and like try and pick it up before it blows up. And if you miss, you can just get the if, love from that body. Can I die? No. This won't kill you. If it blows up, you just, and you're right there, you go into the tube, which is what you want. When do they go off? Late afternoon. You'll hear it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Any second. There it is. You missed it, but catch him. Wow. That landed right where I was, and I still couldn't get it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain. Rescuing gentle mister. Beep, 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 beep. So, what now? Go west. Go west. 
Go west. Oh, dear Jesus. Do you recognize that? Uh, that's Woody from Toy Story. Not him. Oh. Um, that creature the hero killed or something. Yes, and the, when we were playing Moon. Yes. Oh, now this thing isn't alive. It's alive in the day. It was definitely looking alive. That's nothing. Wow! Nice to konnichiwa you! I'm a comic author. My name is Papas. Well, we're acquainted now. <laughs> you can go inside if you want. You can also, like, check that. Oh, it's dead. Gygar rarely shows his feelings. Patient and enduring. Shows no weakness. Despite having an entry, it's not dead. Oh. You can go in the house. I'm behind the house. You can go in the house through the front door. What's back here? Nothing. But why can't I walk back there? That's confusing. Anyway. It's time to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Despite having an animal file, Geiger's not dead. Interesting. Okay. Hi. Shit. Oh, Big Stretchy. My homies all love Big Stretchy. Get that bird. Thousand Bits from One True Zeering says, probably won't stay for long since I missed the first part of the stream year to work, but I really wanted to see the UFO, uh, the, see the UFO catch this emote. Oh, I see. Chaz, Chaz got you. Chaz got you. Yeah, Chaz says, I'll rerun it, but it does need to be solo emote. Yeah, solo emote by itself. Oh, it's still, <laughs> it's still it was still bird. Oh, can't Chaz actually. says, oh, can't actually. Imagine, imagine that it is, in your mind's eye, the the proton, the Rosa John thing, the, Ro the Rosa John emote. You have to imagine with your mind's eye. Because it's <laughs> once it's in bird mode, it's in bird mode. One true zeering, thank you though. I appreciate it. We also had 300 bits. Marty Griffith says, "It's just a s s stutter step to your right. Put your hands on your hips. You bring your knees in tight. But it's the pelvic thrust that really drives you in. Say, you got there. I was there at the beginning. So I wasn't doing the melody. No, you weren't." Let's do time warp again. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. You haven't? No. Oh. I've seen a bit of it multiple times over the years, but I've mm. never actually watched the whole thing. I never I never watched the whole thing. I think like you know what it is? Every once in a while there's something in your life where like it it would be fine to like watch it or play it or eat it or whatever, but you have some sort of mental connection to it that is a negative experience. Mm -hmm. And I have a neg I have one of that towards Rocky Horror Picture Show. And the reason I do is because we had an RA in college who was very obsessed with Rocky Horror Picture Show. And he, you, you were as an RA, you were supposed to plan events every week for your floor that mm -hmm. you were doing or whatever. And this person only did Rocky Horror Picture Show viewings. And you never went. No, like the first week on the floor, I was like, okay, all right. Uh, there's a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, okay, neat. You know, I, I, I can't do that. We're busy doing stuff, but all right. And then the next week was the same thing. And then the third week was the same thing. So by the end of that year, so like 30 weeks in, having, you know, that they just watch it every time, I was like, you know, I get that this person likes this movie, but now I don't like this person because they didn't do anything to do any sort of planning of anything that, like, they didn't do a, a poll or get to know the floor of, like, what does the floor like? No. We're only watching 
this movie every week. And I'm like, eh. So, like, it's, I'd probably really like the movie. I've seen parts of it, and I like it. But every time I every time I even think of that movie, I just think of that RA. There, there we, we go. go! There's the shrug! That's what that's what we were going for! One true earring, thank you. With the Proton Shrug catch. Someday I'll probably watch that film. Because Tim Curry's great. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we got 53 months from LCD. Thanks. I do know that, like, it is it is a cult classic in a very big, like, capital C way. Yeah. Because, like, they do showings where, like, people dress up. Yeah, there's a whole... It's like a whole yeah. thing. So. I think it didn't help that, like, that person was just, like, a bad RA. <laughs> like, not even just for that reason. Like, just for many other reasons. Like, it took very little time... For everyone in our dorm to be like, this person is very bad at this. At some point, I'll watch it. Oh, thanks, Dirty Revelries. Oh, that is very different than picking it up. You have to step on the firework when it explodes, not pick it up. Oh, because it blows you up into the thing. Oh. Okay, yeah, I can probably manage that much more easily. Yeah, Alamo does the... Honestly, it would be fun to go to one of those for something. I don't know what. But they do, like, they they replay older movies. And they'll do special, like, merch for the showings and stuff. Like, they'll show, like, Back to the Future and have, like, special things for it, so. Anyway. It's been a while since we went to Alamo. Yeah. It was the last time we were there to see Old Boy? Old boy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we, uh, I was looking up movies that were, um, like dark movies, dark, depressing, uh, things like that. And, uh, like, Requiem is always on that list, but one of the ones I was looking, I was looking through it the other day, and it was like, mm, old boy, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. We just watched, um, Mother, uh, Darren Aronofsky's 2017 film, and it was, it was very good. I really enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was a thing that after, uh, after we saw it, the, we, I was looking at, like, reviews for it, and it's extremely split. Like, some people really like it, and some people really don't like it. And uh, I, I thought it was very, very fun. It's just a wild film. And it was very enjoyable. It is... <laughs> Charlotte Dante says, Mother is a weird movie. We were alone in the theater. Yeah, it's... um. I can... Uh, yeah. You are not in popular company in that opinion. Yeah, it's uh, it's extremely out there. But I I, re I really enjoyed it. Like the first half of the f the first half of the film is just the most uncomfortable I've ever been watching a movie, and then the second half I was like, where are we going next? Who knows? Anyway, it's very it was very much film student movie, though it had big film film student energy. All right, are we playing a video game? Yeah. All right. You've gone on a few tangents. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, let's see here. Are you TV. ready to play a game? Do, 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 do. All right. You ready? I am. Okay. Wait, hold on. Did I do this? There we go. All right, now we're ready. I'm going to go into this house. Mm -hmm. This area is called Two Houses. This is the American house, and then there is the Japanese house. Two houses. 
So you already met Papa's. Papa's might have new dialogue in his chair. <laughs> I love television. Sorry, Charlie. I just love to watch it and burst out laughing a lot. Hi, I'm Mamas. You are welcome. So do you know Dr. Hager? Yeah. That man, he's a money lover. He holds fundraisers on these days. I don't trust him. You be careful, okay? Ouch! You got burned. I hate that. Sorry, I just love... I love television. Uh, what else is... Oh, what are you opening that for? That's not nice. It's interesting. A lot, a lot of the game you haven't been able to interact with a lot of the environment. Yes. But you can hear at least some of it. I'm just gonna wait, walk. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's she going? Okay, she's sitting. Sorry. I'm waiting for her to do something, and I don't know exactly when she does it offhand. I love television. I wasn't talking to you. I don't think I can talk to her. <laughs> ha! That's it. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, walk through your home. Oh, you have... Oh! Thanks. That'll be 525 yenim. All right. Did I just get charged you to did. catch that? <laughs> Is It does look like a fast food meal. Rescuing value boy. Oh my God, you have to pay for a fast food meal. That was expensive. And you got five. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. So that's their daughter. That is their daughter. That's Darlia. Oh, you can't you no, can't interact with her. Asleep. Okay. She twists and turns a little bit. There's nothing in the room I can no. interact with. Alright. So she'll probably be up in the day. Maybe. Hi, I'm in your room. Darlia wants to keep Paragon inside the house. That's their dog outside. But think of the cleaning. It would be so much work. That's why I'm making this stuffed animal to distract her. Papa's comic manuscripts. Platinum Surfer. Z-Men. Scon. You get to see some sketches. Do you see the that's, one? That's Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not an expert. But that's Vegeta. Mm, is that the same thing? I think so. Yeah. Some. It's weird. Sometimes the 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 hot spots to to select mm -hmm. things are super tiny. <laughs> I hate this. This is such... Sorry. I gotta go to sleep soon. I'll see you soon. Get out of my house. Can I do anything here in the day? Yes. So... In fact, we need to. Okay. You could probably go... Can you go back in the house? Like the living room area right now? No, you have to wait for a day. Okay. Is there like a, a crowbar item? No. There's chloroform. I just assumed. He probably comes outside during the day, right? The dad does. Okay, but she doesn't. All right. I mean, the girl does too, Darlia. I don't think mom comes outside. All right, now can you go in? Yep. Okay. It's fire day. Soul day. Sunday. Oh, the little girl's awake. Pleased to meet you, buddy. I'm Darlia. Let me introduce you to my cute friend, Paragon. So one of the things you need to do here is she's not letting you look in the fridge. Oh, 
So there's a dead body or something. So you need to wait for mamas to leave and then look in the fridge. Oh. Hi, I live here now. How, I mean, how often does she leave? She goes into Darlia's room at some point during the day. I love how the man just wanders around. Like, he goes and sits. Then he goes he... outside for a while. <laughs> she looks very paranoid. Especially, she does. Especially when she looks over and I'm just, like, sitting on the couch, like, looking at her, like, when are you gonna, when are you gonna leave that fridge alone? Why don't you get out of here? Why don't you give me some alone time with your fridge? I mean, when she goes to knit at night, that might also work. I mean, d does she do anything? Like, you said she goes to Darlie's room in the day, though? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, then I will wait. I will wait. If she does that. Which she might... Oh, Darlie is coming back in. Did we need to like... No, you interact with Darlia outside in any no. way? No? Okay. You needed to see the knitting scene. Okay, and I did. You did. Darlia's not sure what to do with herself. She probably has to pee, and there's no bathroom in the house, which is... <laughs> which I'm sure is difficult. So it's about to be night, mm -hmm. and then at night... She'll probably go to bed. He comes in. She goes to sleep. God, I, I guarantee you, he's just wandering around the house going, I love television! Is he going to come sit on the couch? I don't know. Probably. But I'm here. It's my turn with the couch. Oh. <laughs> oh, here she goes. I really feel part of the family. All right. Hmm? What is this? An S mark on a black badge. Oh! So you saw it? To be honest, I don't like cleaning or laundry. I thought Dr. Hager would make me a maid robot, so I donated a lot of money. However, I need a Dr. Hager gold badge for him to make the robot. Now no more money. I didn't want my family to find out what I did, so I hid this badge. You can keep the badge if you also keep the secret. That's how you get the Hager badge for free. Wild. You also get love for that. That's Mama's love. I, I can also, like, close and open this. I'll just leave it open. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're done here, then. You're done here. You can go west from here. All right. We just keep heading west. Do we, do, do we ever learn anything about Gagar? Yes. And is the push mower alive? No, it's just there. So there are, um... Few things here. There's this. Snowbody has stood vigil as a guardian deity since ancient times. Loves to listen, transfixed to sutras warding against evil spirits. Okay, I'll find so, some. All right. So to access the elevator, it goes Frid Dre. Frid, Frid, Dre. That's a clue. F, D, F, F, D. 
All right. You see the thing on the right? Yeah. It's a body. Block of tofu. Tofu makers wake early. This block lives in the tofu shop attic, watching over the day's makings. So Snow Buddy and Tofu are right here. Tofu will show up um, up and around to the left of the house. Like here? Yeah, but you have to walk up and around. Oh, you in mean In the like... morning. And then Snow Buddy, which is the one down there. Yes. There's a sign on the door. Oh, and he'll show up if I just check it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that. Ah, oh, I'm sleeping. The other door. Propello. Propello malus slaughterum. Parare me. Begone, evil spirit. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Rescuing snow buddy. Beep, 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 beep. Do I need to, um... I guess I still have one slot left. Yeah. I don't remember what this is for. You don't know that yet, actually. I don't know what it's for? Uh-huh. Stock this. And stock this. All right, so... So, I'm gonna Tofu go get... shows up up and around left. In that, like, garden space there? Yeah. Okay. And this is the edge of the map? We yeah. finally walked as far west as we can go? Yes. Oh, thank God. All right. We have to wait, buddy, for tofu. I mean, there is, like, a little further. You said it was the morning. I mean, you're going to go into this house also? There's a few more, like, little map transitions in this area, but this is as far out as you are. Okay. You're so loud. He's a very happy cat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Little sweetheart boy. I believe it's like first click. First click? Tofu, 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 got him. Thank you for the warning. You're welcome. I appreciate it. We got that tofu. Rescuing block of tofu. Ba beep, beep, beep. Got him. Where did my pen go? This is a TNT barrel. All right. You can go in the house now. Okay. Huh? Who are you? Forgive my rudeness. Sorry, Charlie. Three colorful ghouls have interloped hither lately. Enough to bake an old man's blood. All strike me as suspicious lately, particularly little punks. Manners now. Enter this home, butt down, feet up. <laughs> Sorry. I'm definitely going to remember the phrase, butt down, feet up. Please, do me one kindness. Not, not on this door. This old man's intolerant of such westernism. Alright. Butt down, feet up! Well met. Answer, friend. You needn't hesitate. It's no biggie. Once more, the wind has blown. When the windmill on the roof turns, this pillar turns. Eventually, one grows accustomed to the racket. Long years pass, and eventually, one feels nothing. It hasn't shaken my slumber in years, not even a teensy bit. A long, solitary life makes one lonely. One aches for any conversational companion. But not those Westerners next door. No, I find them impossible to jive with. I detest their Western customs, words especially. 
yet their voices reverberate through these walls. Even I pick words up and I'm as Japanese as apple pie. Do you enjoy Westernism? Hate it. Hate, I, hate West, I hate Westernism. Huh? Say what? But you're done in their fashions. The young must live honestly. End this deception. One should always speak truth to the old. What? Old? Sorry, Charlie. Age invites excitability. As I was saying, a trio of colorful ghouls haunt this place. Their incessant voices particularly disrupt the calm of my bath. That's a hint. They keep blathering on about fridges and dressers. Fridge and dre. Of late, I have strong notions they might be casing the joint. This old man's not so senile he can be robbed. Don't you think? Yeah, I do. Ah! What? You'd accuse an old man of senility? A punk's accusation of senility transcends actual senility. No respect for your elders and betters. Whew. Please, you need an anger every old man. You call old men fools. Every old man lived young once. Young and wild. Every old man was wild once. Yeah, I bet. Butt down, feet up. Speaking of which, there was one time when... Can't hear him over the windmill. Would the youth of today not answer my query, you first-class punk? You've pushed an old man over the edge. I ask you never to show your face here again, whatever your face is. Keep away! So, um, what the hell? <laughs> well, you gotta get his love. Oh, I... I made him upset. Yeah. Can I dress up in different clothes? There is one thing he likes. He likes uh, Japanese culture. Uh-huh. Which means he'll love... It's not an item, It's not se. an item. It's per se. What else can you do? Uh... I can uh, kill the Westerners. You have MDs. Oh my god. That is so obtuse. There's a hint for it if you sneak into his house at night. There's no way I have the right one, I'm guessing. You do, actually. I made huh? you buy it. Oh, you made me buy it early on. I okay, did. okay, um, okay. All right. There's two songs you have. It's, uh, I forget which number one it is. It's either Moonlit, Jangara, or Awa Utu. So not that one. No, not that one. That's one. Okay, so if I play this. It's a traditional Japanese instrument playing. So now I'll be welcome. Everything will change. Yeah, it's a shamisen. Oh, stop that beautiful music. There you go. That was it. That was it. That was all it took. It's it's interesting that some of the love uh, involves the um, music because I forget yeah. about the music as a concept. So, so all right. There's some things you can do now. Um, like, there's stuff to do yet at his house, but it's nighttime that you need to do it. At whose house? The old man's? The old man's house. There's also stuff to do here, but you have to wait for a few more days yet because it's time-locked, like, by a week. Okay. I love staring at Paragon's face, his gallant expression so bold, I'm speechless around him. His big weird red tongue, it's so wild. When he licks me, I feel happiness. But we think he's dead. You could also go grab the last text at the fire. 
Um, but you could also like do that on Solar Day when it's when you need to be there for the um, fishing contest. It sounds like if I just wait a minute, I'll do the old man's thing. Well, I'd rather you wait on that, honestly. Why? Because there's one love you haven't gotten yet that will make that easier, in a way. Okay. You speak in riddles. I know. It's not you also, It's not particularly helpful. You also have the Hager badge. Is this going to happen again? Oh, yeah, soon, yeah. And Late I, afternoon. Okay, and I, and I, I don't have to you pick it up. I only on have to it. walk over uh -huh. it, which will make this easier. Mm -hmm. And it may not be the right side. It may be the left side. So if you stand in the middle, you can maybe run to it better. Sure. There we go. Hooray. Got it. Yeah, the fact that you don't have to grab it yeah. changes it a lot. Oh, dear God. Hey, dear. Look at that. Something came tumbling down. A child, huh? What do you think you are, boyo? Hey, boyo. I, Tamaya Hakichi, ain't got no time for you. I'm doing big fancy work right now for the king. I'm researching fireworks. Fancy fireworks. I gotta light up the night. Sorry, laddie. This guy, he he's doing his life's work here. You'd best just leave him be a bit. Hey, Utako! Mind your own business! Fireworks and kids sure got a lot in common. Hop in my blasting tube here and scram yourself home, eh? No. No. Stop whining, will you, you little squirt? You saying you can put together an amazing firework yourself? Sure can. I can. Well, heck, I'm impressed, boyo. All right, then. Let's see what you got. Looks like you're a beginner. Let me teach you the basics. Inside each Tamaya firework, we pack nine tiny firework balls. These little balls are numbered one through nine. The order you arrange them in determines the quality of the firework. Go ahead, give it a shot. It's impossible, though. The way you figure this out is one of the slates. It gives you math problems, and it's a little convoluted. What? So I'm just going to tell you. Five. <laughs> so the slate, so you can figure this out. It, you do it by translating a slate, uh -huh. and the slate gives you math problems. Yes. What kind of math problems? It gives you a diagram similar to the firework diagram here. And um, some have symbols, the circles, and some have numbers, and some of it's missing. So you have to kind of process of elimination some of it, but, like, it's not spelt out. It sounds hard. We'll go through the slates you have when we get to where the translation is, so okay. you can see it. All right, so Five, we're, che we're cheating. Five. Seven. Four. Eight. Also, you can't undo, so be careful. Uh, two, one, three, nine, four. Use four twice. Hmm. An unorthodox arrangement. Let's have an eyeball in here. You've got the potassium nitrate in four, the sulfur in five, uh, the strontium in eight. Wow, basic sodium carbonate in seven, curbing the antimony, the real girl in nine, excellent. You little squirt, you done perfected my firework. Yes, if we use this arrangement, the fireworks will be will make night as bright as day. All right, let's get it the heck done. The screaming baby is I know. a lot. Here you go, this is yours, squirt. I bet you can think of some use for it. I catch these firework. Oh, yo, I gotta thank you. You've really lit a fire under my sweetie. Utako! Dear. Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here before it's butt down, feet up. Alright, now what? You need to go exchange your Hager badge for a gold one. Okay. 
the king will do that. Oh! So you could use an Octolips to go to your house if you want. I mean... You might as well. You yeah. could also just walk, like, it's up to you. I don't have anything to do on the way, though, right? No. Okay, well then I'll just do that. Not until Solar Day. Did you eat it? Oh, I used it. Oh, eat it. <laughs> I could sleep. You could sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep. Oh. <laughs> in a second. Now it's night. Time to sleep. Sleep in the bed? You got it. Oh. What's happening out here? What? You can talk to him in the morning and get that slate. Oh. That's random. Octo. That's just a random thing that can happen? Mm-hmm. Uh, sure, why not? Let's see what love you've gathered today, Chu. Florence's love. You lit a fire in Hikichi Tamaya's heart. Mama's love love. <laughs> so the windmill hermit loved the shamisen. Cave guy was able to get some sleep. That is love. This is love. And the love from the souls of the animals. Shadow bird. Tommy. Snow buddy. Dream alien. Value boy. Gentle mister. Block of tofu. Shell whale. Jesus. Yep, you got a lot. Congratulations. Chu, your love has deepened further. Chu, you have reached level level 28, president of love. For your next level, you'll need 17 more love. Love still dots this world. Please seek out the scattered love. Collect a lot of it, please. Wink. It's me, President Chu. <laughs> I'm the CEO of love, baby! Let's take a break. Do you see this animal? Yes, he is very loud. You want to put him on your lap? Uh, well, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. But, oh, we missed but... Love Yokozuna? That's my favorite one. Oh, no. We, That's 27. We were, we were 28. We were too good. We were too good. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. I'm going to go potty. You are? I'm going to go potty, and then I will be back in. Okay. Oh. Hi. Where's he going? Okay, fine. He's coming back. He always comes back. And you just had scoop. <sighs> I gotta check off some things. Did that, did that. We need to get Darlia stuff. Um, tofu, Snow Buddy, Windmill Hermit. I think I checked off all the stuff I need to, but I have these to check off. That, Windmill Hermit, Value Boy, Block of Tofu, Snow Buddy. There are six more animals to get and quite a bit of uh, other people to finish off, the Ground Dwellers. Song from El Do 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 La 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 Do 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 La Grapes It's five thousand bits from Reed who says song for now do 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 was a mouse song. 
I haven't had grapes in a while. Thank you for the song read. You did ask me just to go do 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 do. So I started with La because it was the duet song. Kepler. Meow. <laughs> I'm just hungry, oh, You just fed him. I did. Yeah, we have 300 bits from Marty Griff who says, Can't sleep. Have I got a deal for you for a low, low price of $500? <laughs> oh. Chloroform. Guaranteed to work. Probably not the best thing. It's probably not the best way of sleeping, but it is a way. Did we. We got bird? Great. <laughs> oh, Chaz says emojis are not emotes. Oh. Oh, it will only work with like Twitch emotes. It will not work with emojis. The Cardinal ate the grapes. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. We haven't tried an emoji yet. Yeah. And they do not work. They count as text. So the bird ate it. That was a thousand bits from Siraj Gandesha with the grapes, but actually a cardinal. What? What is this mean, Chaz? What can <laughs> I do? Chaz, is there a prompt? The prompt is not showing up for me. I'm gonna need to know the prompt so I can sing with glee. <laughs> I like it when Chaz just types garbage into chat. I think I'm like, that was Elspeth. Give me two minutes. <laughs> Giving Chaz two minutes, cause the thing just, it won't work. Chaz is doing the best until he fixes it. He'll do the best he can though. Chaz, you'll do the best. I love you. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Chaz has a system, but sometimes the system burps. Whew. I'm gonna read other things. Uh, three into bits from Will Peters. This is hypothetically a city pays you like five billion dollars to live in it. You get paid once you fully move in and you have to live there for a year. Said city, however, is on a one way road going only in one direction. Would you do it? Discuss. Does that mean, like, you can't leave? I guess. Like, you because it's a one-way road? Okay, so here's the deal. With five billion dollars, you can restructure the city. <laughs> These, these hypotheticals remind me very much of a game that we would play in college. I say it's a game, but really it was just Alex saying insane things. He would be like, all right, would you rather... We would play would you rather, but they'd be insane things. And he'd say, would you rather eat an apple pie or get mauled by a bear? And I was like, uh, uh, apple pie. He goes... Really? <laughs> Would you rather I give you $10 right now or I stab you? I'm like, um... Pro probably the $10. And he's like... Really? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that, yes. Tell us more about butt down, feet up. If you have a fun thing to do tonight, just grab yourself a partner and engage in some delight. If you want to overflow your fun pleasure cup, grab your partner and tell them to do butt down, feet up. Hey, butt down and feet up. Stream can end right here. Can't go any worse. Can't get any better. This isn't Friday. I let the demons win. 
You know my favorite part about this? What? <laughs> Andy, remember when we were family friends? You know, my favorite part about this is that Chaz had to spend several minutes fixing the system just so I could sing that song. Yep. That was six house of bits from Siraj Gandesha. Tell us more about Butt Down Feet Up. I think I've said enough. <laughs> Sorry. Butt Down Feet Up got me real good in the I, game. I, I was like, that's very good. It's very good. It's very, very good. <laughs> yep. <sighs> All right. Let's do one more episode okay. of this. Um, Shall. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. It's now leaf day. Night. Morning. 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 Leaf morning. I gotta go outside and get that, uh... Slate. Slate. You have something for me? Hello, I'm Puck. I'm a signpost. My hobbies include being tied to this pole. Also, I would like to offer you my signpost services. An ok ok octopus. <laughs> That's it! Alright, so now I have to go to the king, right? You're going to see the king. No, I'm not talking to you, Paka. No, Paka. No, Paka. No, 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 no. I want to be eaten. No. No, I have to, there's no quitting a thing. You have to continue to speak. All right, there we go. Well, hello again, young man. You want me to eat you up again, don't you? Rainbow yes. rocks. Where do you want to go? I want to go to the rainbow rocks. All right, so. King. King, 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 king. Wait, when are we going to college with Yoshida? Yoshida's going to pick us up when college is. At night from our house. Alright. There he is. <laughs> I stopped walking, but my guy was already, like, past a point. Yeah. Can I even talk to him when he's doing the birds? No. You could maybe show him the... What am I showing him? The badge. The badge? Hey, did you see this? You may have to wait. Yeah, he wants to birds, and that's fine. Sometimes you're in bird mode. Oh, really behind that bush. There he goes. He's going to hold court. Okay. All right, following the man. <laughs> I'm chasing him down. I wonder what happens if you talk to him on the way. I say, give me a moment to settle on my throne. Yes, yes. Afternoon audience time now. Start. If you have a concern, ask my advice. Well, what shall we talk about? I want to talk about... This badge. This badge. Oh, -ho! is that a Hager badge? Hmm, it's a different color from the one I have. Aw, oh, I'm jealous. I'm really jealous. Would you perhaps like to trade? Yeah. My thankings. Gold badge. 
So mine was crappier than his. Yes. So he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I say there, what do you have? Oh, this? This is a $100 bill. Well, that's different than the one I have. That's so... because you have a $1 bill. <laughs> Would you like to trade? <laughs> yeah. What a deal. Oh, I had that backwards. <laughs> my, my, my analogy was backwards. Anyway, what are you doing here? I know I don't look like much, so I'm quite the intellectual. I ain't kidding. When I, oh, you, no, 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 no. Well, okay. The next thing I want you to do yes. is I want it to be Solar Day and for you to try the fishing challenge. Okay. Okay. Grandma's house does it until the next day morning. My house does what? It, like, goes well, 24 it's hours? Well, day right now. We have to get through Coins Day and Echo Day, so you should go to your house. Why? Why not just Grandma? Okay. Because you have to walk to the fishing. Yeah, but doesn't time... And you can warp from your house. Doesn't time pass differently at my house, though? It's okay. Go to your house. Okay. You could Octolips, but you're, like, one map transition away, so... They cost like no money. They do cost like no money. They cost no money and they give me sanity, so I will eat the octolips because it's instant. Love to be instant. Alright, so I'm just Sleep. sleeping. Mm -hmm. Less sleep. Have we collected any love? We have, right? We just haven't collected 17. School's in session. Oh my god, what? Or is this just a dream? Help, help, oh, no, help, 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 yeah, I, I heard the bell and I thought it was school, but it's that was just a dream. Queen's Day. All right, so go back to bed. Yeah. Did that happen because we didn't have any love? No. It was just random. Because mm -hmm. if you have no love, that happens. It's still Coins Day. Yeah, but it's Coins Day night. So walk to the fishing place? Uh, you need it to be solar, so sleep again. But isn't the next day solar? The next day is Echo. Oh. <laughs> Bed. Bed. Oh. Now it's school time. There we go. Good evening. Hello, Chew. Let's go to school together. Sure. Is this going to screw up me trying to get no. to Solar Day? Oh my god. What? Okay. Sure. This is normal. We have a new student at tonight's Midnight University. Chew! Everyone, let's show him support. You're the new kid, so you got to sit in the back. It's a little cramped. Sorry about that. Oh, the guy's here. The bird. Oh, because he's a bird. Class is now in session. Today we'll be studying the moon. Chew, since you're new here, you might find this difficult. Please pay attention to the parts you can understand. As you may already know, long ago the ground dwellers and the moon dwellers lived in harmony. However, due to a recent bizarre phenomenon, the ground dwellers no longer recollect their, the existence of the moon dweller. Well, shoot, if they were such good friends, why'd they forget about them? The truth is, humans, humans are forgetful. I wonder how those long forgotten moon dwellers fare now. Perhaps more bizarre. Oh, perhaps more bizarre, the people of this, it's hard to tell who the hell is talking. The people of the city have now created a hero. This hero now scours the land, massacring straggling moonlings. 
Hold up, Teach. Would you say, if we let this continue, even us birds might be in trouble? We must investigate the root of the changes happening to this world. All we know for certain, something has happened to the moon's door of light. That something has obliterated the precious moonlight. So hey, what can we do? How can we help discover the cause? The best course of action, go to the moon. Investigate directly. Oh, hey, you're right. That sounds good. Long ago, the moon was as close to us as a next-door neighbor. Unfortunately, the ages have changed this. Today, reaching the moon requires a long trip through outer space. Ah, heck. That sounds too far away. Unflyable even for a bird. You needn't worry. A flicker of the memory of the moon yet remains within humanity. King Carefree the 13th and Dr. Hager. If they can finish developing their rocket, we can travel to the moon. Wow, hey, I gotta get a ticket on that rocket racket. The moon look great on a travel brochure. Next stop, out of space. Space, the great infinity. Ah, soon morning's light shall break the sky. Thus concludes the night's lecture. Is there more school? There is three more schools. Holy God. It's oh my. all plot, too. Okay. And how, when will we, do, when will we plot? Just randomly? Um, sleep again. Yeah. Randomly. Whenever you sleep, Yoshida will be like, hey, school time. Oh my God. Sometimes you go to school. Yeah. Did you see the character in the bottom left? Yeah, we hadn't met them before. You will not meet them. They were cut from the game. They had a whole area. You need to walk to fishing now in uh, uh, tropical fields. That's you south. can warp to tropical fields and then walk there. Um, there was a circus area of the game that got cut. And you see it sometimes when you sleep, when it does the backgrounds... It'll show you the circus area. Yeah. We have not seen it yet. I've been waiting for it. Oh. So I'm going to the fishing hole. Yeah. Right. Down here, right? Mm-hmm. Down. Okay. So Gotta we've check got to the wait fire. for... Yeah. A note. I just want to sit back in a room full of monitors. Behave the pirate. That's one of the reasons I didn't have you sneak into the old man's house yet. Does he have a bunch of monitors in there? No. Oh. <clears throat> but that's what you have to do before you get there. We have to find the monitor room. room. We haven't seen that yet. No, we have not. But I needed you to check that first. Okay. All right. Well, what's the thing on the ground next to him? His hat, I think, because he has a hat. But I really love his sleeping bag. It's just a fish eating him. Yeah. All right. So we'll wait till morning, and then is the is that going to be what the fishing tournament is? Yeah, we're going to do the fishing tournament. And I'm going to suffer? You're going to suffer. Great. Cool. <laughs> Love that. Love to suffer. How much bait you got? You have plenty. You say that. You need to catch five fish to win. Okay. So I gotta catch five fish. I have not done it. And you have like a certain amount of time? Yeah. Is it possible to catch things that aren't fish? Yes. And they don't count as fish? They do not count. So... You have to catch five fish in a row. Five fish in a row? Mm-hmm. But if you catch like a refrigerator, then it doesn't count. Yeah. This sounds like it's going you to be You only have awful. enough time to catch five things. Okay. Sure. This seems terrifying. So he's going to set up, and then once he stops walking around setting up, then you can talk to him to start the fishing contest. 
<laughs> fishing contest. Fishing contest. Fishing contest! It's really important that you know that there's a fishing contest. There you go. Talk to him. It's time for my fishing contest. 100 yen I'm down to. Are you in? Yeah. Oh, good. So do you want me to teach you how to fish? We learned already. Yeah, we know. Wow, great. Get ready. You want to take part in this silly little game? Basically, you throw a needle and thread into a pond. I reckon that's bound to aggravate the water quality. I seen that fellow over there fishing out empty cans and old shoes. If he gets a little fish, he whispers, release, and throws it back. You should be ashamed. Okay. Well, shall we begin? Christ. Are you ready for this? I guess. The first time you do the fishing contest, you get one of those. Okay. So. So wait, you already lose? Maybe. We'll see how good you are. And how lucky you get. Not lucky so far. One fish. Hey, a fish! Two fish! That's a fish, right? Mm-hmm. Three fish. Nope. Oh God, it's a boot. Okay, so two fish. Oh my god. You fished out too! That's enough for the win. Congratulations! The reward is 100 yen. Here. I'll give you something better if you fish out more than five fish. So keep at it. Can I do it again? Not today. The next contest is in seven days. So, the dishes that were at Wildcat Cafe, one was the cutie cutie bugs. That's bait. Yeah. If you eat that and then run back here at the beginning of Solar Day and fish, your odds are better. Okay. But I needed you to do it without because you have to get the slate. Okay. Um. Okay. S -s 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 okay. So now what? So now I have to wait a week to do it again. To try and increase my odds. But we can come back and do this like when, it, like how we were going to see Bilby when it was like, oh, it's almost solar day. Let's go see Bilby. Yeah. So every time it's like, oh, it's almost solar day. Let's go fish. Yeah. So now you can sneak into the guy's house at night. This is definitely the sort of thing that like near end game, you would just save the game. Yes. And exactly. then if you screw up, you just load the save exactly. because there's no way. Mm -hmm. the, okay. This is like a nightmare. All right. So where are we going now? You're going to sneak into the old guy's house at night. Okay. I That's through the cave. Mm -hmm. I remember. Do we get a shortcut to go over there? No. Okay. It's fine. It's Down. Fine. Down? Oh, sorry. No. It's up. <laughs> I was like, I saw that there wasn't really anywhere to go. Now down. Down. When are we going to get to go into the... Hager's lab? Yeah. After you do this stuff. Okay. 
Alright, where are you? Boom. This guy has slept. Mm -hmm. We all feel very happy for him that he got some sleep. That's important. It was important. When in doubt, chloroform. I almost went back in there. I walked by as that blew up. He tonguing. All right, so now it's night. Mm-hmm. So we heard the message fry, dre, fry, fry, dre. So it's refrigerator, dresser, refrigerator, refrigerator, dresser. You can only sneak in when the windmill is going and you can only move inside when the windmill is going. And you have to check those things. Because I need it to be like quiet. Loud. Chance. So when it's moving, he can't hear you. So like right now you can move and it's slowing down. So it's fridge first. Yes. Stop. When it moves again, you're going to the dresser behind him and checking that. And then you're going to be going to the fridge next. I have to do the fridge twice. Correct. Do it again. No, stop. And then the dresser. And then the dresser. Now you can leave. Okay. All right, so that was insane. Um, What's different? Oh, the water's gone. This video game, I swear to God. Look at all the monitors. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we, the Ecology siblings, have always worked as a trio. However, soon, in the interest of powering up, we will accept applications. We should see new applicants any day now. That's right. It's hard for just us three to change the world. Like when we stole the minister's treasure, that was tough. Sometimes it's tough to do the right thing. It is the world that is in the wrong. Looks like we've got an applicant. Yay, a new friend. Welcome to the Eco Club. Shining kindred spirit, join us joyfully. Do you recognize them all? No. We can discuss the details later. For now, suffice it to say, you are a member of the Eco Club. I'm Umi. I won't let those fiends pollute our water resources. He just yelled at us about fishing. I'm Femi. I'm sexy, but try anything and you'll regret it. She yelled at us. I will not allow fools to discriminate based on gender. Just glance in my direction and I'll have you in court. I'm Mommy. I, or Momi. Momi, I love trees, like the ones in the forest. You should too. He yelled us at about the carving. Okay. We've got big beliefs and strong ideas, and we're not afraid to yell. We will preserve nature at its most beautiful, even if it makes you uncomfortable. Hey you, you better familiarize yourself with the issues. The ozone layer, animal rights, depletion of natural resources, accelerating air pollution, recycling, and, like, way too many more things. Choose whichever issue you think is coolest to care about. Wow, that's a good cause, yeah. Yeah, if you care enough about that, everybody will think you're cool. Decide for yourself what your theme will be. We don't really care. And since you're a member now, we should tell you about the elevator. Also, we have a password, just like being a spy. It goes, Frid, Dre, Frid, Sh. He's still a newbie. We can't just give him our secret password yet. This kid blab it all around town. Just look at him. He's a rookie, and until he ain't a rookie, we gotta treat him like a newbie. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Ahem, the elevator, uh, please use it. The end. Bye. See the slate? We confiscated that from the minister in the castle. That minister, he's mean. We don't like him. Just looking at that guy makes us uncomfortable. 
us being uncomfortable is the same as the people being uncomfortable. So we indulged in a little punitive burglaration. We were just wondering how to dispose of it. Leaving it here, it's a stumbling hazard. Oh, I got it. Young rookie, your first job. Here, take this thing somewhere. Do you see what it's showing? It's showing... It's hard because the bright side is so dark. It's a guy shooting an arrow at a house. The arrow flies, and then the person turns into the hero. So the the white arrow... Got shot at a house and landed on Gramby's house. And her grandson... Is the one who turned in, turned turns into, into the, the hero. hero. That's how he was chosen. Okay. So he did... Well, yeah, he wasn't chosen. Yeah. Your first job. You can do it, buddy. If anybody asks, you must reply. Yes, it was I who stole this. Wow, what an honor. I'm jealous of you. Okay. So, what did we see about the screens in the room? I've already forgotten. It's under the table on the side closest. There you go. A note. X10. Behave of the Caribbean. X one zero. What had uh, ten to one odds? The blackbird. The blackbird. You have to check the sign that says that. I refuse to accept that men are better than women. Why? Because I'm a woman and I'm better than every man. Therefore, women are better than men. It's simple science. We unfortunately don't get to sleep much here. We gotta always be on call, ready to spring into action on a moment's notice. I was always a big failure. Then my brother, my sister, and me started the Eco Club. Now food tastes good. Life is good. You're done here. So that's all. That I just this walk was. out. The red door. That's where you came in. I see. Okay. Got it. You're set. For what? Well, you could go check the bird sign odds. You have Hagger's badge, so you could go and go into Hagger's uh, so the bird, lab. The bird odds. Uh huh. That's in a completely different direction. Yes. You could leave that and get it later. Well, yeah, but well, I won't be walking by that again, will I? You will, actually. You need to go back to the cafe at a point. Okay. So you can go see Hagger. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Mm. I'm going to Octolips. Eat it. And then, I am going to sleep. If I can figure out where the bed is. <laughs> oh, dear God. Sure. Back to school. Good evening. Hello, Chew. Let's go to school together. Love bird college. Bird college. <laughs> God, uh, here I am. Today we'll be studying dreams. Who's had an interesting dream lately? Oh, me, pick me. Yes, Yoshida? I had a wild dream the other day about a goddess. Oh, so there was a TV in a little room, yeah? I flipped the switch and I saw myself in the TV. At first I thought, wowzers. Then the next thing I knew, I was at a hot spring. I was kind of shocked. Then I thought, hey, a hot bath sounds good. Why don't we get into the part with the goddess? I'm getting there, buddy. So I was feeling good and hot in the bath, just living it up. Then I see this dame walking up. So I ask, you need me to wash your back? Except all smooth like. And she says, you must help chew. So I said, yes, ma'am. How was I going to refuse? Then snap. In an instant, I was surrounded by sunflowers. Hearts were flying everywhere around me. So it was a pretty good dream, and if a bit weird. That was a dream. This is a dream. If that world is a dream, does that mean this world is also a dream? Us birds possess a unique knack for dream remembrance. We must remember also to celebrate our birdliness. Wow, hey, I learned something new about birds. As long as we do not forget our dreams, we can hear the moonlings' cries for help. 
There's no way humans will be able to do it. After all, they're so forgetful. Ju, tell us, do you remember your dreams? I ain't got a clue what I dreamed about even last night. Choose dreams. Ah, soon morning's light shall break the sky. Thus concludes the night's lecture. Yeah? How do I know it's saving my game? I guess this is still gonna happen. Let's see what love you gather today, Chu. You listen to Umi's lecture. One. <laughs> For your next level, you'll need 16 more love. Love still dots this world. Please seek out the scattered love. Collect a lot of it, please. Wink. Cool. All right. <laughs> I was like, man, we need to, like, save the game. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, ah, we're going to bird college. Sometimes, sometimes when you go to sleep, you think you're going to sleep, but actually you go to bird college. That was bits with the Jepson bonk catch from Lunagazer. Lunagazer, thank you. Jeez, man. 16 bits from Reed, the Nintendo Painter. You just got clanked. Clanked. We catch clang a lot. Mm-hmm. On Tuesdays. We do a lot of we got a, we got a lot of Tuesday clangs. Thank you, Reed. Leet from Siraj gives us an actual moon. Lunatone. Very appropriate yeah. for the moon stream. That's from uh that's from Siraj Gandesha. Thank you. We said 36 months from Break All the Pots. Congratulations on the three. 39 months from Lady Leaf 8. And 300 bits from Reed, who says, It's the world that's in the wrong. Boy, if those aren't the truest words ever written. <laughs> is it me? Am I out of touch? No, it is the children who are wrong. Uh... Okay, so some quick things to announce so you mm -hmm. know about them. Uh, first things first, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, that's in about five hours over on the twitch.tv slash protonjohn Twitch channel, there is a disc only. I will be there and Tom Fox will be there mm -hmm. and Proton John will be there and 8-Bit um, Drummer will be there and Motion Dan will be there, but quiet. And there is a guest. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the guest is. I knew it, and then I forgot. <laughs> but there is a guest. Check it out tonight. Other things. Uh, there's vlogs coming out. There was a vlog earlier after Breakfast Stream. If you missed it, you should go check it out. You get to see Haley's outfit. It's very good. Uh-huh. Uh, otherwise, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm continuing on Starfield. Starfield. So Starfield is tomorrow. And, uh, oh yeah, Vagabond's got a good point. There's a new Patreon video. Patreon video dropped uh, late last night. So if you are uh, one of my patrons, check it out. It's good. It's a good one. It's like a 30-plus minute video. We talk about a lot of things, including some of the stuff that's upcoming, which is b b b b big, big, big upcome. Mm -hmm. um, and otherwise, you know, Hi, bird. Goodbye, bird. Bye, bird. Otherwise, we got like a thir Thursday breakfast stream. Thursday breakfast stream and uh, Friday Zelda, 8 p.m. Yes. Yeah. That was a bit of gold line. He says, how did you already forget Mifa as the guest? Oh, yeah, that's right. Mifa goes, uh, Mifa's not dead, and Mifa goes from podcast to podcast. That's right. Mm, yes. That's right. Starfield's tomorrow. Starfield's uh, Wednesday at 1. 1 p.m. Eastern. Anyway, uh, that's everything you need to know. It's possible. It's very possible that that is everything you need to know. I think so. All right. All right, sure. 
Luca is live, and butt down, feet up might be a very appropriate raid message. I think Luca might appreciate that. So, um, sure, we'll do that. I can make this happen. I have a button. Uh, I almost just typed raid into the address <laughs> bar, which is not how that works. He's going to pull up the... The yeah. item raid. Oh yeah, the the username's different. Now it's just Luca. It changed. Sure. Alright, folks. Join in this raid. We're gonna send uh, Butt Down Feed Up to Luca. And uh, check out the vlogs if you get a chance. If you haven't seen them, I'm gonna try and get another... <laughs> Lord willing, I'm gonna get another one out before Disco Only tonight. That would be great. Alright. Thanks for being here. See you next week for more Moon. See you later in the week for more streams. Raid sent. Hi. I'm showing off this dumb thing that I made. Uh, if you're wondering why the hell I look like this, no, don't worry. This is actually not the worst thing I've done in here. Hello, can we not welcome people to... Oh, my God. Guys! Wow, what, a, what a welcome for Steven. Steven's probably unfollowing me and he will never return. And he would be right to do that. <laughs> I mean, our raid message was butt down for you. Yeah, though, it was. Well, there's only one thing we can do. Is, uh, one, number one is uh, apologize to my butthole. Oh, my God. And apologize to Steven and friends. And also say... There's a lot of butthole. Yeah. <laughs> you are at horse. Oh, that's good to know. I wasn't sure where we were, but I'm learning that we are at horse, horse and horse forgives, forgives you. you. Horse brushes their teeth. Horses are neat. <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> I like it. This is... I feel... Touched <laughs> in a special way. Anyway, I like the Mr. Ed in the background. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Thanks everyone for being here. I sincerely hope that you have a good Tuesday if I don't see you for the rest of the day, and if I do see you at the rest of the day, it'll probably be at the Disco, Disco only. stream. And, uh, that'll be it. I'll, uh... I'll probably ask our guest important questions that have nothing to do with their interests or career. <laughs> <laughs> because that's uh, what I do. De Mr. Deathkills already knows. Favorite sandwich icebreaker. Listen, you can just learn a lot about a person. What's their Waffle House hash brown order? By, by, I, you, I love how people already know I'm going to ask about the sandwich. The Waffle House the Waffle House hash brown order is also a good one. Mm -hmm. they're, a, they're a voice actor, so the trick is to not talk about voice acting during the podcast at all. Because, like, they, they don't want to feel like they're at work. They want to talk about... Scattered, diced, and smothered. Covered, capped, chunked. Stephen George order. Scattered, diced, and smothered. 
All right, we're gonna end the stream now. Um, thank you all for being here. Go watch vlogs. I'll, I'll try very hard to get more out. Like, I so desperately need to get vlogs out. If you don't know why I need to get vlogs out, go watch a Patreon video and you'll be like, oh yeah, you need to work a lot now. Um, and I'll see you, I'll see you tonight. Bye.